We hope that you've had your coffee today as you're joining us for Coffee and Curriculums with the consultants. Yeah. I am Rebecca and I'm joined with Ruth and Amber this morning. Um, and we have some quick announcements for you guys. We will have a team at the Teach Them Diligently yes. conventions. Us too. Us. Yes. Uh, wow. In Pigeon Forge next week. Oh, I can't believe it's wow. next week already. Uh, also, the 2024 curriculum catalog went to the printer. Drum roll. So yes. excited about that. So excited. <laughs> that means it should be in mailboxes by mid to late May, which is always great. Start planning for that next school year. If... If you've ordered from us. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, if you are year. a current customer with us. Mm -hmm. And what if you're not? You can request those on our website. Okay. So there's an add to cart. You just add them to your cart, check out like you were awesome. purchasing something, but it sends to you for mm -hmm. free. Mm -hmm. Those so. are like gold. Yes, yes by they the are. way. Yes, yeah. they are. <laughs> Also, if you don't already follow us on social media, um, head over to Facebook or Instagram and give us a follow. We post there regularly and it's good content, good homeschooling content, whether it be articles, short videos, mm -hmm. things like that to help you as you're homeschooling. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah, so today, Amber, you have something for us that, you know, I would say was fun, but I <laughs> hated these in school. So what do you have for us? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I am a big believer in math drills um, because I, after homeschooling kids, teaching for mm -hmm. third and fourth grade for five years, boy, if those kids don't learn those math skills yep. during that time, just like they just know it, yeah. then it really shows up later on mm -hmm. and they start, they start struggling. Yeah. And then we start having to get remedial help and things. Uh, math drills are easy way to put something into your morning. It gets the brain going mm -hmm. to start your class out with it. When I was teaching, I actually used this very product in my classroom <laughs> and it, um, Sorry, Rebecca. I, yeah, I'm I'm just, I'm, here for her. Just get a little triggered. So yeah. I'd like to say something about that. As a teacher, I used to be able to see just the fear on the face of this. Um, this is from um, Remedia uh, that puts out the addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And, um, and they're reproducible in the classroom and home. So that's cool. But what, something I did with my class, instead of timing them or saying you have 60 seconds, yeah. uh, because That's of the fear lot. I was seeing in the kids' eyes, what I would do often, especially when we first started a new family, is I would just say, mm. on your marks, get set, go. And then they would just raise their hand when they were done, and I'd tell them what time to write down. And then it was a goal to beat your own time. Cool. And instead of like, you have 10 seconds left. Oh, and some kids just don't, so nice. they don't do yeah. well with that. And then when you hear no. somebody else put their pen down, it's like, oh no, I'm not done yet. I'm only on problem and, two. <laughs> and I was one of those kids that was in fifth grade in, in a school in the area. I did not know my multiplication facts. Yes, I struggled. And yeah. I thank absolutely. I thank the Lord for Mrs. Essington and her desire to uh, make sure that we knew them. And so that became my desire as a teacher for my students. Mm -hmm. It just takes a minute to start your class off. And uh, as as we're consulting, one of our jobs is to see the new products come through, mm -hmm. write a description. Yes. Well, a new product came in that I think is amazing. And I would definitely, if I were in the classroom again, I would add this too. Um, I missing. would mix it up for sure. So instead I'm of the traditional, yeah, I used to call them minute to win it. Instead <laughs> of the traditional um, speed drill, these yeah. are called speed wheel Wheels. drills. Okay. Say that fast, ladies. Speed no, wheel. no, not having it. <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to have all 12 families mm. and we've got addition, multiplication, okay. and multiplication. division. Okay. And there's basically all 12 families are reproduced mm. in a page and all mixed up. Oh. So you could take a family at a time. So like five plus seven, five plus 10, and it's moving from the inside out on the spokes of the wheel. Okay. And, and so in a way it, it causes the brain to think and process just a little differently than the traditional speed drill. Really and cool. so you could give them one at a time, you could give the whole page, and because there mm -hmm. are 120 pages, that's gonna give you almost a year's worth yeah. of, all right, let's pull out your your uh, yes. speed yeah, wheel almost. drill <laughs> book and get ready to start math, yeah. right? And so then your kids huh. can, um, can get their, their brains going. Awesome. Repetition is so key, yes. it really is. 
going over things, uh, flashcards anyway, the little, the little key. The, the wrap-ups. Ups. The wrap-ups, wrap wrap ups, yeah. yeah. Parents like those. Those are great. Use them at the beginning. Another thing is you could just give it to them as seat work, busy work, mm -hmm. and say today I want you to make sure you mm -hmm. complete this. Does it have to be timed? Um, so uh, the answer keys. Uh, yeah, as a as teacher, I like to know where answers might be right. and if there's other resources. And, and somebody's going to ask us that. <laughs> Where's the answer key? So in the back of the speed wheel drills, there is a chart and you can even laminate that, put it in a screen or a safe plate, uh, what do you call those, sleeves? Mm -hmm. And um, they can use it if they needed to reference it. There's some other interesting charts there square, too. Square roots. Square roots, multiplication, yeah. commonly resources. used uh, math terms. Those are all in there. And um, Good reminders. Yes, yeah. very helpful. Cool. And then Neat. Gina wrote an article that we that I would encourage you to go back and read. And what was the name of that article? It was um, oh the importance of learning basic math. Right. And she, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And she covered all the kind of what we're talking about now. But she mm -hmm. had some different thoughts about mm -hmm. that. So yeah. be something for readers to go back and look at. Cool. Yeah, that's, Thanks. That's, that's, a, that's a, good. a good little resource to have mm -hmm. in your back pocket. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, um, uh, Ruth, you have something that looks very intimidating. <laughs> it does, right? Yeah. And this is just uh, two years worth of it, actually. Mm -hmm. And this is not a uh, new this is new to us, but mm -hmm. it's not a new curriculum. It's been mm -hmm. out there. It's um, used in schools, and it's also used very well in the homeschool environment. And there are four different levels. This is language arts for high school. And it's the emphasis is on literature, and there are different levels. And they look pretty scary, don't they? <laughs> um, but... Let's, let's dive into it because it's not as scary as it appears because we're not used to hardbound books mm -hmm. um, anymore and uh, your, your high schooler might faint uh, <laughs> looking at it, but it's gorgeous and um, extremely mm -hmm. sturdy and well done. So you'll have it for multiple children for multiple years. And you'll also notice something interesting about this that there's no grade level listed and they have different names for them so the first year is explorer amber's got that one and that's the equivalent of ninth ninth grade that's what they consider ninth grade um, navigator is here in front that's 10th grade both of these are in international literature and this one is Pioneer. It's uh, 11th grade is their intended year, and it is um, American. And this one, I imagine you can guess, is British Lit. My favorite. Yes, <laughs> and there's Shakespeare in there as well. So everything you need is in these books, except if you have a student who's struggling a little bit still grasping, getting a hold of their writing skills. You might want to add something there. There are a lot of tools in here, but all of the literature that you'll read, all of the discussion questions, oh, the answers for them are in this book. This is the student and teacher. This is the teacher. And they're identical, but you see that you have a larger because in the margins will be the answers, the additional materials, the things that you will need. Uh, and so let's look at a couple of things with this. Um, there, <laughs> gonna, I don't have to lift, lift weights today because no. I've been doing it all morning. So, so before you start a passage, you're going to see this wonderful before you read and you learn about the author, you learn about the situation, the context of when this was written. And I've got the teacher manual here. And this is the um, material that you'll need to help uh, discuss the topics. And then uh, in the back here is an example. Sorry, post-it notes. In when they're critiquing the literature, there'll be all these activities at the end of each unit to do. So in this one, you've got literary critique, you've got writing workshop, you've got a journaling project, and you also have vocabulary. So you're learning vocabulary, you're learning 
in context. You're, um, you're going to have information before you read the literature. You're going to have uh, information as you go along. There are all these wonderful thought-producing um, questions as you go along. And teacher, you're going to have the answers here if um, that's a real Which help. is always reassuring. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. right. You will, um, you'll be involved with this. It would be a great program for a co-op group Absolutely. also mm -hmm. because that discussion is integral in mm -hmm. here. But they're, they're doing higher order thinking questions. It's not just who, what, when, why. It's all, it, it asks you to apply things. Mm -hmm. And so you've got those questions. You've got... Um, vocabulary and definitions, mm -hmm. you've got assignments, and there's there's also um, that just regular writing assignments and you're spinning off of what you've read. Oh, so okay. it's all tied together. Yeah, right. yes. yeah, it's all tied together. So you're going to have writing in there. Yes. And yeah. building your vocabulary. Yeah, yes. yeah. And so a lot of times we feel like with language arts, with English credits, we've got to pull a lot of things together. And that's why everything's the, in here. Everything's here, <laughs> including okay. uh, full text. Full of, text. Okay. Of a couple of uh, pieces. Now, each is, time. is grammar instructional or more um, like the integrated concept when it comes to grammar? In yeah, it's going to be levels. integrated, okay. but in the back, the last like 200 pages wow. of yeah. this book. Okay, so that means you've got like 800 pages <laughs> in there. But the, uh, really, the price point's not that bad for what what, what you get, what you're getting, and this uh, will last you a long time. Um, there's there's a grammar workbook oh, in the good. back. There mm -hmm. there's additional assignments. There's all of this 200 pages are helps for you. Mm -hmm. You are student, fully resourced. A, yeah, you are actually. So it's many books in one. Yeah, yeah. Way. it really is. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to put that. And so um, I'm a little, um, a little, uh, what's the word? I'm, I'm looking for words. Um, <laughs> I love literature, so it's a little bit of an easy one for me. But I think even if you don't, yeah, if you, know, you want your kids to be well read, um, this makes it so much yeah. more palatable for everybody. Yeah. You know That's what program option. this reminds me of, Ruth? Yeah, it reminds me of the Mosdos. Yeah, which we carry. Yeah, that goes up to eighth grade. Yeah, but the sad part about that was they that don't have high they school. Yeah. Eighth grade. Yeah, yeah, and actually, so this is great. Uh, yeah. It was very reminiscent when we looked at this, and so mm -hmm. if you've used that program, if you've been very in depth with uh, with literature, mm -hmm. and and you, you're child's reading at grade level, this will be great. Oh now, God. you also have the flexibility. You don't have to do the ninth grade in ninth grade. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to start with American mm -hmm. Lit. Sure. So based on your student, and you can look at our samples and see if your student would mm -hmm. uh, respond well to that. So yeah. you could start this one. It, you know, you, Nobody knows what grade it is. <laughs> right. right. Is it a neutral program? Or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It will have... Um, it will pull pieces from all the time periods, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is a neutral oh, wonderful. Uh, program, and it will, um, so if you want to add more uh, scripture in there for yourself, or you just, um, you want to get a good cross the board, mm -hmm. this is a great yeah. one for that. And you know, ELA and math, they are the two big subjects mm -hmm. for any grade level. Bugaboos. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But high school can even be more intimidating when yeah. it comes to literature, because they're reading more of the right. classics mm -hmm. more, and, and writing composition needs to be yeah. more robust. Bust. And yeah. so this is a great option for that. Yeah. Um, but if you are in, in need of more information or more resources, please yeah. check us out online. Our website is full of those resources. Mm -hmm. You can give the consultant team a call, chat in, send us an email. We are happy to serve you yeah. how we are able to do so. Yeah. We hope to see you next time uh, for our next episode of Coffee and Curriculum. See you guys. Bye.